let's embark on a journey through time as we venture into the illustrious tapestry of a late 19th century new baroque estate nestled in Spain's embrace. This eclectic mansion, a testament to opulence, spans two floors adorned with soaring ceilings and a graceful staircase that unites its splendor. A masterpiece of Rococo revival, its walls are adorned by Art Deco elegance through ornate tiles. Once the cherished haven of Legando and Doña Martinez, relics of their legacy linger in the form of ancient bank bills strewn within. Yet, solitude now blankets this grandeur, frozen in a silence since December 2013, the last expiration of food still left inside. Over the ensuing decades, Neglect and nature have marred this once vibrant Spanish abode, its allure awaiting resurrection for a mere half million dollar investment, a daunting prospect amidst decay's relentless advance. Life's journey can be a challenge and finding balance isn't always easy. I've experienced these moments myself, facing mental hurdles and seeking ways to discover my best self. Therapy became my guiding light, a way to understanding myself and leading a happier life. And now I'm thrilled to introduce the sponsor for today's episode, BetterHelp. BetterHelp paves the way for accessible therapy to make starting your journey simpler and less intimidating. Phone calls, video chats, messaging, they offer what suits you the best. With a vast network of over 30,000 therapists, BetterHelp matches you based on your unique needs and preferences, ensuring a breadth of expertise tailored just for you. Simply fill out a questionnaire detailing your challenges and therapist preferences. In most cases, within just 48 hours, you're matched with a therapist who matches your requirements. Flexibility is key. Schedule therapy sessions at your convenience, giving you the power to prioritize your mental health on your terms. And here's the best part. If the fit isn't right, easily switch therapists at no extra costs. It's about finding the perfect match for your journey. Don't hesitate. Take that step to talk, to seek advice. Put yourself first, you deserve it. Join over four million individuals who found solace with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash explomo for an exclusive 10% off your first month of therapy and start your journey towards a healthier and happier life today.
So welcome back everybody. Yes, welcome. It's the second bonus episode over here in Spain. Mm -hmm. And we actually have a very secret and unknown place to show you today. Um, it's really amazing. Probably by the time you're watching this, this place has already been closed or it's not possible anymore. Um, but it's incredible, right? A very historical structure and facade. Exactly. It's exactly. right in front of us. It, uh, it looks very beautiful from the outside actually, but you can definitely tell it has been abandoned for a long time. But uh, yeah, I'm curious, man, uh, on how it will look and how we eventually uh, end up inside. I actually just noticed it's for sale, like many historical mansions that need like a lot of yeah, reparation works and everything. They are trying to sell them, but it's difficult to find the right buyer. Exactly. Sure. I mean, it's only simply by looking at the garden you can tell that it's completely overgrown. All right, man, let's just walk this side and uh, go to the other side of the building. We don't want to show too much of the town, obviously. Since, yeah, we want to protect the places we visit, it's history. But yeah, I think we can definitely show this little alley over here. Yeah, we do. Okay. So, making our way to the back, I think. Quite a wall. Quite a wall. Yeah. To climb. Well, this is properly pinned. There is a woman standing right over there. Where? There, right in front of you. Okay, so it's probably going to be the, f the front side where we have to jump the fence. Spain, man. Yeah, always difficult. always difficult. Normally we don't often film how we actually enter, but now people can really see how difficult Spain is. It's nothing like America. Nah, man. Nah. Where it was just always a walk in the door. Mm -hmm. No fences, no gates you need to climb, no walls, no fortified structures. It's just walking. But let's say the more fortified the building is, the more historical as well. And that's what we aim for. Time for action. Raymond climbed the fence. And when he made his way in the garden, I wanted to follow him too. Yet, right at the moment, I wanted to climb the fence. I heard a man shouting in the distance, but I couldn't see him. I decided to wait. And while Raymond already made his way inside the mansion, I kept in touch with him by our phones. As you can also tell, WhatsApp contact, always there, always bright. <laughs> I made my way through the village, but unfortunately after 10 minutes, cops had arrived and I decided to confess what we were doing. I texted Raymond to come outside again. You can can't go to okay. a property, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. We're sorry. There are a lot of uh, buildings to take photos or videos yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. from the outside. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Mm, this place is beautiful. There's a lot of history, like yeah. this area in general. You know. Thank you. Bye. Yes. yes thank, thank you. you. Enjoy. Sorry. Thank you. All right. So, well, as you can tell, it's also the other side of Urban Explorer, man. First time we have been going to the police right now. Yeah, man. Well, <laughs> four days later and I can't believe it, we actually made it back again. Yeah, man. It's <laughs> quite early in the morning. Yeah, we uh, did, the, did the night over, so we actually slept a little bit in this place. Yeah, <laughs> I day. slept a couple of hours, yeah. maybe one hour in this place. So Drove yeah. all, all night to this place. Yep. Running low on sleep, but this is an incredible, incredible place. And especially because it has a lot of history mm -hmm. and the tile work is just so oh, mesmerizing. Oh, oh, oh. 
actually this will be more of a, a walkthrough like a touring because yeah, focusing more on the architecture exactly, exactly because there are the reason why we really wanted to go back here besides the fact that a man called the police for us everything was chill everything was fine even it's the man that called the, the cops was cool with it if we went we back went in back. again he didn't care because he so now knows that we are not any exactly burglars exactly. or anything but you really need to see this place honestly starting off over here this beautiful gallery and actually not just the tile pattern since that this will be coming back again in some parts you can clearly see curtains have been bitten by moths the windows are open and this part of the structure has already been exposed to the elements sadly enough it's very decayed it's even moss growing inside yeah we can still see some of the tile pattern on the ground. At least what's left of it. It's now completely covered in debris and dust and crumbling parts of the ceiling. Well, and then we immediately come in the main dining room. Wow. And actually, I mean, have a look more. This is absolutely stunning. <sighs> wow tile work is just so well done. <laughs> dust is crazy too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The clay is of dust. Wow. Yeah, beautiful, right? The pattern. I think this place has the most beautiful tile work I've ever seen in any abandoned place. True, true. Because all the tiles are also different. You can also see them on the ground over here. A huge rug in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch your step, man. And have you seen the ceiling? Yeah, that's beautiful, right? It's like I'm in Italy or something. You, you can tell the DK is doing his job, but still, it's very beautiful moldings and plaster work on the ceiling. Absolutely breathtaking. The tiles are also continuing all over the walls. We have an inside building cabinet over here. Whoa. Still a place in the classes left. Damn. It's so crazy, like, I don't know for about, about the last date, but I did find a date from 1993 in a newspaper so far. And I also found some old invoices of a woman named Doña. Okay. Doña okay. Martinez. All right, all right. Well, I so, haven't seen that much names actually. So it was from a woman then? Most likely the woman was the last resident. Yeah, look. It's quite cool that it is also just left. You would not say that. I really can't believe how decayed this place is. Yeah, bro. I'm real, right? It is quite unreal. You can tell that nobody's maintaining it. And it is actually for sale, but the cost to renovate it will be probably prohibitive for most people here. And there is not even a number on the on the for sale sign. Yeah. What I actually like is that the tile pattern is even coming back over here in the design true, of true. the cupboard. Damn. Well, actually over here, we have the main stair hall. And talking about tile work, this place is absolutely a marvelous beauty. Got a lot of natural morning sun coming through. There's beautiful colored glass windows. You can not even properly see through here since the sun is so bright. And somehow also this broken sink ended up and on the floor. Quite strange, right? Or broken sink. A different tile work again. So special. Also different colors. 
the bicycle over there. <laughs> you can tell that this used to be such a grand property back in its heyday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably from a count or at least at definitely least a noble person. A noble person, yeah, yeah. The facade is also absolutely stunning. That's actually the newspaper I was talking about. Yeah, 90, dating 93. 1993. Over here are also some very old checks from the bank, actually from a city in the north of Spain. And as you can see, Senora Doña Martinez. Okay, okay. But I couldn't find a year on it. No, there is no year. Actually, bro, over here on the staircase, it's just still a very old photo. Should be her, right? I think it is definitely the couple, Doña, together with her husband, sitting somewhere, which looks like this town. Looks like it. Damn. <laughs> I don't know. Still an old bicycle. It, it, this one really catches me. Like this thing that is just standing over here. Just chilling. Yeah, man. Wow. Check out the tiles over here on the side too. Oh, they have the same pattern as the dining room, actually. Exactly. And then at the bottom, they again spent attention to details in the tile work. Well, also the woodwork over here, actually. This place is really a masterpiece. Damn. Look at the tiles over here, different. Yeah, again, they're differing from each other. We've got plenty more bank checks on the ground here. I'm wondering why they're all scattered around if you're trying to sell this property. Yeah. Like those are private documents yeah. of the former family. Again, the same name as is Leguino. Leguino and this is from 1937. Damn. It's almost a century ago. Yeah, man. Yeah, too much personal documents. Not gonna spend too, too much. Well, we have a little space right on the staircase, but no basement or something, right? No, it's in Spain. There are no basements over here. You remember that? That they usually don't have these big basements? Yeah, and if it's a basement, it's mostly like a shed bar, like you see in Portugal. Exactly, exactly. All right. I think this was like a side room. Yeah. Next yeah. to the main entrance, but what it was exactly used for, I can't sure. really tell. I'm not sure about that, man. Maybe just to hang up some clothes and jackets. And we have the suitcase right over there. Is there mm. still something inside? No, it's closed, man. But you can tell that there is nothing inside. It's broken. Like completely broken. <laughs> Damn. Some more newspapers, but they are all completely vacant. <laughs> yeah, and there is so much paperwork again as well. Yeah. Well, and then we have the main hallway, right? Yeah, man, this is the main hallway. And over here, you can also tell, again, the same pattern. Wow. But you know what, it like inspires me the most? Ceiling. That's crazy. That is really close to collapsing anytime soon. Also look at the glass doors behind you. Yeah. Such a grand entrance mm -hmm. into a beautiful historical home. Tiles on the ground as well. Detail is spent through every inch of space. Yeah, man. Same for the doorposts. Very unique. Well, all right. Yeah, 
devil. Let's just walk in. Damn. This is a beautiful room. Wow. I actually really like how yellowish it's looking through. That yellow tinted glass over there. Mm -hmm. Have a look at the furniture. And over here you have the green walls again. And an upright piano. Yeah. Man. It's from... Era. Era. French brands. Well, actually, one of the biggest ones. A friend of ours uh, looked this one up and it came from the 1800s. Wow. They can imagine how old and aged the structure is that we are exploring right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, test. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Oh, that one's perfect. That one's actually still quite good, bro. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't expecting that since it's just covered by crumbling pieces of the ceiling again. Me neither. Me neither. Absolutely not, man. Uh, look how faded. That painting and distorted is. that painting is, yeah. Unreal, right? Yeah, I don't think. Well, some decorations. This is such a wonderful and unique piece of furniture. A priceless antique. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I can't open up this one. You can tell. Look at the cobwebs. Hasn't been opened for a long time. It's crazy. Everything is covered in debris, cobwebs, and dust. And look at the mirror. Actually, quite nicely matching yeah. with that other piece of furniture. Exactly, exactly. Well, I actually think that this was the foyer of the house where they would receive the guests. And then somebody would be playing a nice song on the piano. People could get comfortable, would be invited. And eventually they were led to the dining room mm -hmm. for a nice dinner. Okay. Or lunch. Or lunch, yeah, that, that definitely could be true, man. 1928. Whoa. Bro, these are proper old. These are proper old man. Can you show the cover once more? El Perpetuo Socorro. A religious book. Yeah, religion. From Madrid. Well, actually, I'm curious what is inside of here. What, what should this be? Oh, be careful, yeah. <coughs> I think there actually used to be porcelain cups yeah. and stuff inside to actually serve mm -hmm. the guests when they were welcomed over here to the foyer. I don't think for decoration or something, uh, but I don't think you're right about that, man. Well, then we can continue. Better. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy, the variety in tile work. Even the toilet, there is also an art pattern. It's crazy to even spend time for details on the toilet. <laughs> and a little corner washing table over yeah, here. Exactly, exactly. Well, and then we can uh, walk up to the kitchen part, I think. Damn, this is crazy, bro. If you what? can shine a light. It's uh, all electric connections. Yeah, Hanos and Gatos, it's mm -hmm. one of the most primitive techniques they used for modern electricity nowadays. <laughs> and it's crazy that they also have this little window over here, since the dishes would actually go from the cook that was standing here, to the former chef, to the yeah. maid, and then eventually right to the dining room yeah. here. Directly into the dining room, so you can tell it was a novel family living in the room. Them in the kitchen, Whoa. and yeah, you can tell over there the old 
furnace. This might even be one of the oldest ovens I've ever seen. What does it say? Soto? Um, yeah, that's a, actually a city. Okay, okay. So probably where it's made. Yep, the old uh, sink. Yeah, you can definitely tell that people used to cook here for them. Uh, damn. And you know what I do think is the most beautiful thing there? This Cuba, like Cuban cigar box. So these were, this was once a box for real. Still a spider alive inside. Really? Yeah. Right there, very tiny one though. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm over here, you can tell. That's, uh, of course, decay, but... Uh, it used to be food storage, right? Exactly, exactly, but it's quite empty right now. Okay, so heading away upstairs and take a look at the carpet pattern over here. Let's follow this rock leaning upstairs and... It's actually one of my favorite staircases and stair halls that I've ever seen in Spain, to be honest, bro. Yeah, it's beautiful, right? Also with the colored glass. Yeah, right now you can see it better. It's very unique. Beautiful man. I mean, you, you can lead the way here. because it's quite dark in the rooms. Yep. And actually, before entering, check Look. out the door already. <coughs> Isn't that unreal, right? Unreal. Angels, a bowl with throats, it's been painted, glass paint on these tiny windows. Well, then I'm gonna lead the way. And actually, like we said, it will be more walk through because it's just a bed. Actually, the bed it's will the, be laid. Yeah, I actually lay down in this. I was sad at first because I thought no mattresses in the beds in this place, so it's gonna not be very comfortable, but it wasn't actually too bad. But this is crazy. Have you ever seen the glass peeling of a mirror? No, no. Like this? No, no, I haven't. That's a crazy consequence of humidity for a long time. Yeah, man. Is there something inside? Well, there is actually some comfiture. Mm, nice. And wow. it's expired in 2030. December. That's strange because then this place would only be abandoned for 10 years. That's that's unreal. No, that's not true, man. I think it can be true, but that the last years it already needed like maintenance yeah. and was already a little bit decaying here and there, you know? Could be, could be, man. Wow. Once more, this marvelous staircase. Walking in this way. Three, one soul, one person bed over Yep. You can tell how old the beds are by the metal frames, you know. Actually, very old. Yeah, it's proper old, man. Check out the ceiling once again. It's gone, it's like completely gone. can fall on our head any time. Yeah. Let's check out the door posts again as well. Actually matching with what we've seen before, right? Yeah. <laughs> the main hallway. Yeah, man. All right, on your lead, man. There was just this chair in the middle of the room. Yeah, just chair, just chilling. Yeah, the ceiling is still coming down.
Actually, all the doors have been painted over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over here you can actually see it very nice in the natural light. All with the same pattern. And this is a quite unique design actually. This is uh, um, downstairs. At the, this is the toilet right in this box. It's so strange how they made this. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. never seen it. Me neither, me neither. I was also thinking like that. That's uh, something mm -hmm. unique. Another bathroom. Also, this uh, small child bed, right? Yeah, a little baby crib. For the baby crib, yeah. Well. Continue. Maybe this one. We might go take the other side since I closed that door for a picture and uh. it was quite stuck. All right, all right. Well, whoa, 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 whoa. look at this pattern. Oh, nice. So I think this was actually like a children's bedroom or yeah, something. I do think so, man. Given there is like a baby crib and also two little beds. Decoration was important uh, for them. I mean, even on the bathroom, they had a different pattern. Whoa. And that DK is actually <coughs> unbelievable. Yeah, true, right? That's no paint, that's actually literal moss growing there. Is there still something inside? No. No. Most of the things are emptied out. So captivating. See how this can decay, you know? Like the walls and the ceiling is just gone. The decay in this bathroom is just perfect. Yeah, true that. True that. I had to make a picture of it as well. Yeah. Well, and then we actually follow a lead into the bathroom, you just said. Well, instantly a chest of wear. Maybe we can tease them a little bit by opening that first before showing the bedroom. A lot of paperwork, actually. Nineteen seventy. Damn, some old paperwork, man. Also, a lot of old notes, descriptions. Look at those old letters. This one is from eighteen eighty-seven. Long ago, man. A little bit of calligraphy. How they were really? able to write so beautiful back then. <laughs> it was actually like a profession, like a job as well. Yeah, true, true. Wow. It was training after training, honestly. So unique. Yeah, it's very unique. It's actually for the woman, Donya. So given that Donya lived in 1887, she was definitely not the last resident of this place. No, no. She was a generation before that. Like the original. Owner of the property, I think. And then we have the master bedroom. Yep. Again, a beautiful ceiling with a blue pattern as well. Wow. <coughs> Vanity over here. I do think uh, there used to be a sink in it. Yeah, I think so too. I think that thing actually used to be in there. Yeah, that one over there. So we have some more. Uh, I think it's a uh, Cologne. Yeah, most likely. It's very oh, vintage. Yeah. Very vintage. Yeah. Man. Some perfume. Oh, wow. yeah, and then this was the master uh, bed. Check out this over here. Yeah, also beautiful, right? Crazy, I was just deteriorating. I 
also really like this one. Man. I think I've never seen this. No, no. And the reason why is because of this. I mean, I can literally look at myself. And I can see it from so much perspective. It's my the the it's nice my thing is that you could also close this. Again. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, we're, yeah, we're not going to try it, but you could really properly close it. Damn, bro. My hair still looks good. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's the same one again. Rosalina. Wow. He has some very old bottle. Actually, one of the most beautiful makeup tables I've ever seen. Yeah. Being an antique one. Well, prayer's yeah, chair. The prayer's chair. Yeah. And some clothes also left. And we have a big wardrobe. Oh yeah, there is some, I think, blanket sheet. Some hangers only left, but nothing uh, more. Yeah, only glowed hoops. All right. No, only glowed hoops again. Well, then, uh... Let's take the other way, bro. Yeah. And then we're already heading to the final floor of this gloriously historical mansion. Honestly, it's not very spectacular. It's just an attic with some storage. Store some additional stuff. But before we're heading there, there's actually this old map of the region with some names Valencia, Silenca, Ciudad Real, nice. different provinces and parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spain. Wow, oh, check this out. The woodwork again. Very unique, right? Truly. Also if you look down right now. Crazy, right? Yeah, that's very crazy. What a grand staircase. <laughs> Small uh, drawings of a drawings child. Drawings of a child, man. And a game. What is it for a game? I don't know. I think it's actually what we call men's egg you need. Yeah, 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 it is, it is, it is. But so then a very vintage. Yeah, very vintage version of it. Then you can actually see how old that game already is. Wow, look, this is actually a notebook from school. From one of the, the children. They still has so much well-preserved history of yeah of the people that centuries there. centuries ago. That's cool, right? That's very cool. It is. All right, gonna be low over here. I think this was just yeah. I don't know. Maybe they did some laundry here. Yeah, I do think so. Some blueprints. Yeah, it actually looks like it's from something mechanical. Yeah, mechanicals, exactly. Look at this. It's part of an old it's model plane. Old model plane, yeah. <laughs> the wings. Isn't it uh, the yeah the Tie Fighter, like the dogfight uh, plane? The Terror military fighter model made in England. Yep, exactly. I was thinking because the, these the, these uh, buttons they are from the UK. Like from the war. Maybe the box of it? No, it is. It's not the box of that, but. Damn. Hmm. I honestly don't know. Well, 
close it up again and to continue to the final room in. Well, look how decayed this can of Coca Cola is. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it's a proper old one as well. <laughs> Wondering what this thing over here is. Yeah, I'm not quite sure actually what it is. Actually, so think it used to have a rope. I think it was something for a child, honestly. Also a toy, right? I think so. Oh, wow. So well preserved, very vintage tins. Yeah, yeah. Of vegetables. From Murcia, Spain, beaches in Syrup. Crazy man. Uh, yeah, and over here you can see it's just some storage of their beds and a suitcase again. Actually, gonna head back here. Oh. Yeah, it's quite narrow, man. It is. You really need to crawl. Well, luckily we're not extremely tall people. No, no, luckily. Because then it would, uh, yeah, be quite a pain to actually explore this attic. But we did it. And we did not only explore this attic, but we equally explored a glorious mansion in Spain with a lot of history. Now, if you enjoyed it, guys, this little bonus episode in Spain and our efforts trying this again, because it definitely takes some guts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if we got seen here again, then Policia Local wouldn't be that uh, friendly. No, they wouldn't be that cooperative and understanding. Well, yeah, then hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel right down below for free, and also leave your opinion in the comment section right down below. Any questions, any feedback, everything is welcome. And if you want to support us on these travels, there is also a little link in the description to Patreon and a PayPal link. And then as always, Raymond and I will see you on another video. Who knows where in this world? Thanks for watching once again, and we will see you at the next one. Ciao.